what's too good to be true I can't take my eyes off of you You feel like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much Let's see we go My name is Josh Adams. I come from a little place called Wigan Athletic Nil. <laughs> I'm six foot four, I'm a great kisser. I'm a compulsive liar. And I couldn't help but notice through them two songs that the girls were looking and you spotted the ring girls. I'm married. It's gonna have to be your cabin. <laughs> it's Sam Fred. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a song and this will happen with most singers, most entertainers. They will have a certain song that they want to dedicate to a loved one. To a a wife, a girlfriend, as long as they both don't find out. <laughs> a child, anything. So theoretically, I should dedicate this song to my wife and kids. But to be honest with you, this is a lovely little break for me. <laughs> I don't want it to come across as awful. We, uh, We've had a bit of a disagreement before I come away. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's not Jeremy Carl, is it? <laughs> We've had a bit of a disagreement before I come away, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, how can I put this across? It's sounding terrible. <laughs> My wife is... She's, she's temperamental. She's half temper, half mental. <laughs> this is... This is a true story. This is before we come away. We woke up on a beautiful morning. The birds were singing. She turned around and she said, darling, I said, yes, my lover. <laughs> Stop it. She said, would you mind nipping downstairs and opening the, the curtains in the living room while I get myself ready? I said, for you, darling, anything. Or words to that effect. <laughs> and this is all I did, guys. This is all I did. I went down into the living room, I walked to the curtains, I opened that side of the curtains, and I opened that side of the curtains. I stepped back, turned around, she stood behind me. What are you doing? I said, hang on a minute, I've just, just done exactly what you've asked me to do. I've just come down, I've opened the curtains. She said that line, ladies, we don't like this. We don't like, you say it a lot, and we don't like this. If you want something new and proper, <laughs> even the lads are joining in. <laughs> this is what she did. What's that? Not even an inch. I couldn't believe it. And that's when it went purse shape. She was screaming at me, she's shouting at me, I'm screaming at her. Then we said some things that we possibly shouldn't have said. You know what she said to me? She said, you know what? You think more of football than you think of me. I couldn't believe it. 27 seasons I've been with that woman. Then she hit me with a bombshell, she said, that's it, I want you gone. I said, pardon? She said, that's it, I've had enough. It's just you cruising, all your friends, I'll never see you, I'm taking care of everything. You might as well not be here. Leave. I went, right, okay. And as I get up the stairs, I'm getting up, up, up halfway up the stairs and I think, do you want to pack a large bag or a small bag? <laughs> Is this that midlife crisis thing that you women go through? Or the change? Or the menopause. Do you know what I'm talking about, girls, yeah? Not one woman in here has suffered with it. <laughs> really? You must, lads, it's, I, was, I was reading an article on a, on, a, on, a, on a flight, and it gives you the insight of what, what the girls go through, and it's awful. I mean, it's not man flu, but it's awful. <laughs> it's terrible. They really, really do suffer. And as I'm reading this article, and it's telling me all the symptoms, you know, hot and cold, mood swings, and sore boobs, don't touch me. 
and you know what you do. I get halfway through this article and I think, this woman's been on a chain since I met her. So I pack my little bag and I get towards the door, I get right near the door and she says, can I just stop you there? I went, oh, here we go. I said, yes. She said, I hope you live a long and miserable life. I said, oh, you want me to stay now, do you? <laughs> Joel Everson, I guess. I feel all alone, but I want to go home. I miss you, you know. Mrs. Jones We got a thing going on fans about a cheer box There's a true story behind this song. The original artist of this song is no longer with us because I killed him. No, apparently it's true. Because two weeks after learning this next song, the artist died. Then I learned a Lou Rawls number, and two weeks after that, he died. And it happened again with Barry White. I've been nicknamed the vocal assassin. It was only two months, ladies and gentlemen, to the day ITV themselves phoned me up and said, Josh, is there any chance you could do a Jedwood medley? <laughs> Just to comfort me Then finally they did do Just what my mother said Later that night when I was asleep He left a dollar under my sheet Stop playing, Luca. This next song, ladies and gentlemen, may shock one or two of you. I'm going to sing a song by Doris Day. And we always seem to forget these, these people, and, and, and it's terrible, really. Your cabin stewards, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic job they do. I'm saying, what a fantastic job they do. Man's terrible. <laughs> he is, I've not seen him. I, the first time I've seen him was tonight. He knocked on the door, he says, can I come in and clean up? I said, yeah. He had a shower and a shave and left. <laughs> I have noticed one or two people taking photographs tonight, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm fine with that, click away. That's no problem. It's the band that I'm worried about, because two of them are still signing on. <laughs> Can I go bless?